Hey there everyone, I would like to take a minute here from normal with just RNG work and, and actually just go ahead and talk about some of the tools that I'm using and how to actually get them installed and working and, and happy and everything. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bring up my screen here. So uh, yeah, so for, first off, let's start with the 3DS RNG tool, which big big part of RNGing in the third, uh, seventh gen and sixth gen, of both 3DS games, and uh, you've seen this, you've seen this before. But yeah, essentially, um, this is the first time you can actually see the drop-down menus. But essentially, this is all there is to it. Um, you can change your game version. It, it supports X, Y, or S. Uh, Sun, Moon, Ultra Moon, Sun, Ultra Moon, all the 3DS games. It also Transporter, but I haven't done anything with that, so I can't speak to it. But there you go. You got all your settings, and if you want more, more uh, how to use this tool, you can just watch any of my videos of RNG, because I have to bring the screen up multiple times just to show you how to actually use it to your advantage. But there it is. I'll put a link to it. I just want to cover that one real, sh real fast. Next up, we're going to go ahead and talk about Citra RNG, which is this tool, which you've seen parts of it at all before, but this is the um, first time I'm showing it fully. So you can see here, up here, we can choose your version, and this will handle all. Um, and then you could you have two tabs here: Gen Six if you're in Gen Six, obviously, and Gen Seven if you're in Gen Seven. And it gives you different types of information. You can only connect if you're actually running Citra. And uh, you have to make sure that you're running the latest versions of the of the uh, whatever gen. So if you're running Ultra Moon, you have to run the 1.2 version, I believe. If you're running X or, y, X or Y, you have to have 1.5. It won't work if you're running a different version. It just won't. So you have to make sure you upgrade that. But how do you actually get this installed and working? Well, for that, we're going to go to our good friends over at Pokemon RNG. And here we are. So this is, I've talked about this website quite a bit, but they have a great number of guides for pretty much everything. And while I'm showing you how to do it in real time, the guides will explain things just maybe maybe just as well. So go ahead and feel free to use them. Uh, but what you want, what we want to be doing is we want to actually install um, Citra RNG. So first off, there's a guide on how to install pCalc. We'll go over that one in a little bit. But I already have a tab open here with Citra RNG. So I'll put a link to this. And thank you to Admiral Fish, especially, who is the creator of this. So essentially, here's the steps here. You have to download this particular Git repository, and then you have to make sure you have Python 3.9 installed, you have Citra, and then you copy all the files into your scripting, cat, scripting and uh, there's a game patch, I'll go over that. And then all you have to do is double click the Citra RNG.py file and run the game, connect, and that's, that's all there is to it. Um, and for those who are running Windows, this is where you can find the, um, it's uh, app data, local, Citra, Canary, and then scripting. And then you just dump all the files into there and then run, run the command. There is an IPS patch, the X, XY or um, ORAS, you need to actually have a, um, a uh, patch in order to have uh, the RNG work on it. So here's the guide right here. Again, this is on PokemonRNG.com. But yeah, essentially, you could ignore the whole Luma part because you're doing this on Citra. But you just uh, make a. You have to go run the game in Citra, right click it, go to the update directory, make this directory, and then copy the code.ips patch into that folder, which that is located right here. So you just put the right version into there and then you should be able to run it just fine. So that's how you get the RNG tool, which again, we're gonna, I'll bring it back up again. So you can see 
you have a great deal of information here. In Gen 6, you can see your initial seed, current seed, frame, save variable, which is not really that useful. And then, of course, we have our Tiny MT. I will talk about Tiny MT later. It is the reason that Gen 6 is not a fun gen to RNG in. And then you also have your egg information, which gives you your parents and your egg seeds. And of course, in Gen 7, oh, oh, change that. In Gen 7, you have your same, basically the same information, egg information. You also have the SOS information as well. And that's all there is to it. You just connect, and this will give you connect, update everything, and that'll give you all the information you need. And you've seen it. You, if you've watched my other videos, you'll have seen it in action. So there isn't too much to go into it, but that this is the actual tool itself. Um, one thing that I would like to go over, though, that I haven't, is an actual 3DS. Um, so let's let me let me bring up um, my 3DS. There we go. Perfect. So this is this is my actual 3DS. I've, I've said before that you can run the same things in in a 3DS, no problem. So there is a tool called PCalc, which let me let me go ahead and bring up PCalc here. So uh, PCalc is the tool that you could that you could install onto your 3DS to get all the information that the Citra RNG gives you. So this guy Oh, can't see it. This guide gives you all the information. You do need to have Luma installed on your 3DS. You can't do this on a stock one. Sorry, that's just how it is. But you have to know whether or not you have a new 3DS or an old 3DS or 2DS uh, because it does matter. But you have to get this thing called the Boot NTR Selection, which um, you can... Just make sure you're not running a super new version of Luma. Anyways, there are two different files here. You can see there's a Pablo at Mark 7 banner and a Fonz D banner. The only reason to have them is if you have an old 3DS, there is a, um, there's one for m Mode 7, mo sorry, Mode 3, and then there's just a normal one. Uh, modes, mode 3 is used if you're running Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Um, because those, or, or any Gen 7 game, rather, because it requires extended memory, and it's it's only important if you're on a new 3DS, uh, old 3DS. If you're on a new 3DS, just get one of them and would run it. Anyway, so yeah, so that's pcalc. That's how you get it on there. It, you basically, it's a CIA file. You can install it using your your CIA installer of, of choice. But there you get it installed, and now let's bring back up our 3DS. So. What to do? Um, I can't load this up already because in order to stream this, you, NTR already has to be running. But this is the tool itself here, and you just load this up. I've got a new 3DS, so all you have to do is load this up, choose 3.6, which will save that setting so it'll run, and then load up your game of choice. In this case, I'm going to load up Ultra Sun. And there you go. All, all you, yeah, there you go. So now you see in the upper left hand, we have some, uh, well, we have, j we have a whole bunch of jagged frames because of how I have my thing set up here. But you can actually see right here, you got your init seed, current seed, frame count, and uh, there's also a whole, oh, you can make, you can hide it. There's a whole host of other um, information. Oh, yeah, you could uh, look at, one thing that's nice, you, you can also see your NPC counts, which is not something that you can see with Citra RNG. So let's load that up. You can see, look, I've got eight NPCs. Right now I have six live. If you bring it down and bring it back up, it'll update it. And you can see, so that now you don't have to actually guess. You know how many NPCs you are dealing with in whatever area. Getting live count of your frame and everything. Uh, this can also show you whether or not a wormhole you hop through, if it's shiny, because that will happen, you'll know right away, if, hey, it's a shiny worm wormhole. And then, of course, here you can also see SOS information as well, which is handy. So I'm going to put that away. Here you can also see wild data, Pocopelago, which is fun. Um, yeah, you can see wild data, so you can just see the stats of the wild Pokemon, much like these RNG. And you can also see your own party Pokemon information as well. And 
you can see, you yeah, so you just, ha just have everything at your disposal. There's a whole bunch of tools on how to see how it, how all the, con there's a whole bunch of uh, ways to see how the tool works. Um, trying to figure out the, there it is. So here we go, here's the menu. And yeah, so they, you could just see the, see all the options here. Uh, what is, the, the egg is, oh yeah, and with it you can also pause and run your frames. So you see, there we go, I have it paused. Oh, let's start the fr start it back up so you can actually, yeah. So you see, I you can pause it with start and select, and then you can just hit select to advance one frame at a time. So this is exactly how you do the, yeah, you could do all the RNG that I talked about. You just have to have PCALC installed on here. And this is how PCALC looks. So I wanted to show that as well. But these are all the tools that I'm using. You can you could you could be like me, you can have it running on your 3DS and run and, and do the RNG that way. You could do it through PCALC and Citra. Uh, you could do it through Citra RNG if you if you so choose. Either way, there's a lot of tools available to you. And I'm trying to think if there's anything that I forgot in particular about this, but I think that is it. So, this was just a short one. I just wanted to go over things real fast, but I'll move on after this to Gen 6 RNG, which is a ton of fun for everyone. But until then, I hope to see you all next time.